Hey guys, Vic here with Elephant. I'm gonna show you a quick Honda hack, how to turn your Honda, or any car for that matter, into a vocal booth. And we need a couple key items, super easy, super worth it. Check it out. All right guys, Vic here. So, you wanna turn your car into a vocal booth, right? It's super easy. I've done it multiple times now, and I love it. If you live in a place where sometimes you're worried about noise, you got neighbors, um, the acoustics aren't that well, um, this is a great option even for voiceover work. It's nice and quiet. You can drive to a nice uh, seclusion. Um, it's great. You do need a couple things though. You'll need a microphone. This is one of my favorite mics. It is a Loughton LS208. It is designed to take out the room. So you just talk directly into it. If you all have the SM7B, it's very similar, but this one's a little better. So you also need an interface and or laptop or computer. I am running the Universal Audio Volt line. They're very affordable, very cool. They run on bus power, so you don't need a power supply for it. Also, you can run it on an iPad if you want that. I got my laptop over here running trusty logic because it rules. Um, so as far as setups go, sometimes I don't have it with me, but I will get a, a half a microphone stand and mount the mic on the stand, wedge it through the steering wheel, and it will sit right here. Put a pop filter there, you're good to go. I did use a pop filter on this song, Electric Dream. Um, let me show you what else you might need. So you might be asking, Vic, there's a windshield right in front of you. And well, windshields don't absorb noise or any acoustic reflections for that matter. So one thing I do recommend I've made a foam panel. It is made of rock wool or mineral wool, whichever you want. And you kind of wedge it up like so. And it kind of dampens the um, bounce back off the windshield. You could also use pillows are great, a comforter, anything to absorb the sound is what you're looking for. You could even put it on the sides. You could go overboard with this and just have it completely surrounded by absorbent material in your car. And well, yeah. So for the song Electric Dream, I tracked every vocal, all the vocals, in this car with this setup. I didn't um, run any fancy hardware, even though I would like to. Um, yeah. And then, you know, you're not rushed. Granted, it's not as nice as some... Um, yeah, so that's it. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment. Um, please check out the song Electric Dream. I'm super stoked about it. I hope you are too. Hopefully it gets you off your butt and dancing a little bit. Um, until next song, stay tuned. Thanks for listening.